What's up everyone, Jason back here with another diecast review today. I'll be reviewing something completely different than the normal diecast that I review. It is the Greenlight Collectibles 118 scale Gulf Oil gas pump. This is from the uh, vintage uh, gas pump line of uh, from Greenlight Collectibles. Before I get to the diecast itself, let's go over the packaging. It is, of course, you can see a window style packaging. Up at the top left there, we have Vintage Gas Pump Collection. Top right, it says Adult Collectible, 118 scale. Bottom down here, we have Golf and Green Light Collectibles. It says contains one die cast gas pump. It does have the gas or the Golf oil livery and color scheme throughout the box and a uh, like road map. Look at the bottom, just features the barcode, green light, some other stuff. Side here features Golf and Vintage Gas Pump Collection and, of course, the Greenlight Collectibles logo. This side of the packaging exactly the same. Nothing on the top. Here's the back. as the Vintage Gas Pump Collection Golf 118 and Greenlight Collectibles with a picture of an old-time gas station. And I do like the license plate on the back of the car. It says, fill her up. So, that is the box. Go ahead and pop this open, take a look at it. This is from Series 1. I believe they're up to possibly a Series 5. I know for a fact Series 4. So you can pick these up anywhere you can find green light collectibles. I picked this up at my local Hobby Lobby. And here it is. It's a really good looking piece. The detail is really nice. The paint is good. It's about 3.5 inches tall from, top here, from bottom to the top here. Got golf up here, super good golf. Bottom of it has the two screws. They are individually numbered. This is number 533, I believe is what it says right there. The side is exactly the same. I don't know how well you can read the uh, dials in there. It says total $0 sale and zero gallons and all that good stuff. Really nice detailing on the metal on the chrome work there. Got some Labeling here, it says, for use as a motor fuel only, contains lead. Of course, got some more detailing here. Another little label, can't really make out what that says. And some accenting here on what I believe to be lights or something that would light up at night. I'm pretty confident on the real gas pump at night that this would light up. So, it does have the a uh, nice rubberized hose and... Nicely detailed silver painted nozzle, gas nozzle, of course. Just clips in right there. You can see the little knob right here, clips in. Of course, I believe this might be a pop bottle cap opener. You know, back in those days, they had glass bottles of pop, so they this could that could be what it is. But if it's not, correct me, comment below. And you see this just clips on in here and hooks in. It does stay as you can see uh, mounted into the gas pump itself and then just comes out of course once again here is the detailing on all the gauge panels and everything on the inside there doing a little 360 of this uh, Gulf Oil gas pump I'm going to try to pick up the entire series of series 1 through current so yeah, this is die cast. It's all die cast. This is plastic up here. Plastic for the glass paneling. Plastic for the chrome work on the sides. Plastic there. But everything blue and orange is die cast metal. These retail, at least from Hobby Lobby, for uh, $9.99. You can find them. You might be able to find a better deal of them online. You can find them on eBay. Anywhere Greenlight Collectibles sells their product, you can find it. So yeah, that has been my review of the Greenlight Collectibles 118 scale Golf Oil Gas Pump. If you enjoyed this review, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, click the bell for notifications, I post new diecast reviews every Monday and randomly throughout the week, so be sure to follow me on social media, that's Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at JasonAStrain69, and also click the bell. 
Don't want you missing out on any future diecast review or video. Got a lot of cool diecasts planned in the coming weeks, including a 118 scale auto art Koenigsegg one to one. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on a future review of that monster. That thing's gonna be awesome. So yeah, this is Jason. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. See you next week for an all new diecast review. Bye.